Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Down on the Unit. It's just going to be a quick one today. I'm going to install my Razo pedals, if you saw on Instagram that I posted them. Got them for a bargain at a car boot sale recently. The competition pedals as well, from what they say on the back of them. I had a quick eBay and they came up to like 40 quid, something like that. I think I paid £10 for them. Got a bargain of a deal. Razo RP87H Sport Pedals. Nice fancy box it came in as well. Right, this is everything the kit came with. So you've got your pedals, adjustable for your heel, heel and toe, for your brakes and your accelerator. Obviously the same on this. I probably need to loosen that up at the bottom to be able to adjust it so you can heel toe more, which would be handy for, um, for track driving. And obviously clutch pedal, which doesn't need any adjustment. And it came with a drill bit, so I can drill the holes. I'm guessing it's the right size to be able to go through the holes. They're the pilot holes that you need to drill. Should be fairly easy. So obviously it comes with all the the screws and the uh, nuts and bolts that you need for it. So it should be pretty straightforward. I'll just take my pedals off and then tally these up to see how they fit on the metal plate and then drill and get them on. So you need a drill and probably a pen of some sort so you can line so you know where you're drilling holes in the on the pedals. So what I need to do is remove these pedals. The standard ones are basically just pads that go over the pedals. So you should just be able to pull them off. Like that. Same with the clutch. They come off nice and easy. Oh, nice loose clutch pedal. Standard for a style like that. Taking this Chinese pedal off. It was only a quid from China. And you can tell why it was a quid. Look at the state of it. Should just fall off. Yeah. Easy as that. So if you're looking for pedals, don't get them from Wish. They're quite flimsy. As you can see, that's how flimsy they are. Can't find anywhere that tells you how to take this off. When in doubt, just pull the pedal off. All right, so it's on an actual pole. That isn't very helpful. So I'm just going to drill through it and use it as the uh, plate. So let's hope for the best. Pedals are installed. Nice and easy considering. Hopefully they'll help me make a bit of a difference at track with them being a bit wider of a pedal. So just that one. That just comes out of it. How did I just put that screw? There it is. So I'd lose my head if it was not screwed on. Right, so there we are. Pedals installed. The accelerator has to be a bit on an angle, but that's, that's good enough. As long as it's not stopping the uh, the cable from being pulled fully, that's all I'm asked about. And hopefully, the uh, I might need to adjust them a track or some of the time, but I think I'll be off with that. Bigger covers should mean more control. Ideal. Nice and easy. That's it for this short episode, just uh, how to fit pedals, how to fit aftermarket pedals into your car. So, reminder, if you're going to install aftermarket pedals, get some decent ones. Don't get these 
crappy wish ones for about one pound posted from China they're just not worth it they're flimsy as hell and they're just literally covers I can't imagine they give much in the way of grip and they seem to bend and flex really easy and as you can see they're flimsy I just never put them on in the end they're just crap so yeah they're for scrap get some decent pedals if you're going to run them especially because you want something decent under your feet see you in the next episode guys take it easy See ya. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. And obviously, if you can, spread the word.